Hello and welcome to our first 2v200 channel ever. We have we are stepping in here in the Spellforce 3 team league on Jungle's Crossroad. This is team Fish versus Team Henry. We have Aleth in the southwestern corner. And uh, with the purple elves coming in with an economy opener as well as a ranger boy. Exit with the walk riders only strat. It's gonna find it a little bit hard to transition into walk riders as the dark elves here. Gonna come in as the purple dark elves with a classic reaper. Economy opener as well. Since it's gonna be hard to finish someone off early in a 2v2. Night Hunter as the red orc coming in with the occultist. And let's see what the boys have in store for us. So I will do my very best to keep up with the pacing here of this game. It is a 2v2, so things are bound to be hectic. So keep your eye on the minimap in case I miss something. Because this is gonna be tight. Some nice scouting going on here. And I really need to... Okay, hang on boys and girls. And we're quickly gonna go for... Ally enemy color scheme. Oh my god, no! On free spectating, it doesn't do it! Wir werden angegriffen. It's just gonna... No, it's turning everyone blue! Ah. That is... Worse. <laughs> Straight up worse. So never mind that then. Ay, 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 ay. Alright, so southwest whether the northeast. Try to keep that in mind. It's blue and gr uh, red and green versus purple and blue. So at least the color composition is relatively on point. Some nice early aggression here by Exit. Doesn't get the scouting post down before it finishes. Notice that we are on a new patch, so the... Oh yeah, for the buildings, the health bars are actually really tiny now. At least for the elf post. That's a bit awkward. It's like the one instance where like on heroes and on outposts, they can stay. Oh no, okay, they adjusted now. That was weird. Looks like just a graphical bug there. And we see our first iteration of the new Gobble Shaman. I'm excited for that. Let's see if we actually... Oh god, I'm gonna have to cycle through these guys one by one, don't I? This is gonna be awful. But we do see in set in, indeed some totems picked. So Totemic might now buffs um, all allies around it. So also you like your little units. Really curious to see if we're gonna see some advantage taken of that. We've got our first fight here between... Oh god. Uh, it doesn't give me the player names when I quickly go through it. So this is Exit. I'm luckily be able to remember him. Versus the Red Boys Night Hunter. There we go. Night Hunter in the dark red. Maybe that'll keep me on track. Oof. Alright, so Kalrax are not upgrading yet. Nothing too aggressive here. Quickly double check. So it looks like we have... So one Hall of Pain here for Exit, Revolut, and Night Hunter, of course, having the benefit of the Orc economy to produce from their main buildings, which can be tough on certain 2v2 maps, since you are limited in your expansion. So the smaller 2v2 maps are really hard for Orcs, since you have like three or four barracks with very awful timings. But so far that doesn't seem to come into play, and we do see indeed the little empowerance. So plus five resistances on Scoundrel. This early in the game is not too bad. Not too bad at all. I, oh god, I really hate cycling through this for four times. This is gonna be awful. Uh, some nice and early grabs here on the skeletons. But for Dark Gifts, that's always very expensive. That's a lot of skeletons going down the drain here. Some nice micro here by Rebeluk. Please tell me you are Rebeluk. Yes, indeed. Good, good. So he's getting that pretty clean. Night Hunter is scouting the skeleton attempt. The middle... Oh, very, very aggressive seizure of the middle here by our Orc team. So they are in possession of all three of the four Godstones in the middle. Exit is very heavily cut off. So if this guy teleports over, for example, Aleph, I think, he might isolate himself. Quickly check the build. So we have one point in Totemic Mind, which gives you armor for more resistances. Which should probably scale with Arcane Force. 
So our little boyos are gonna be pretty tough to handle in the future. And just imagine brutes that have already amazing resistances buffed by those totems. It's gonna be quite insane. I think the goblin will find its place in a matter. Will it be good enough? Will the early game be disjointed enough for him to find a place? That's the question. Probably best on big maps like this. Especially in the 1v1s. But we will see. So that's an aggressive push here by Exit. And lost a lot of units here. Got a couple of scouts for uh, scoundrels for it. But... Not quite sure if that's Nothing worth new. it. Aleph as well. He's going for a quick tech rush, I think, as well. Yup. So they really need to be concise here. They're trying to rejoin the territory. Ooh, nice. Ooh, Night Hunters Occultus might just about to be, go down, be going down. He is... Oh, the Spectre! Spectre kept alive! Spectre value, lovely to see. Night Hunters Occultus goes down. Do not underestimate the timing of a well-placed ghosty boy. They are never late. They arrive precisely when they mean to, just to ruin your day. Uh, so it doesn't look like we have like an update on the creep situation on the minimap. So most of the maps still have bugged out creep counters. So they do not vanish when those are cleared up. Slightly disappointing. But hey, at least we got a patch. So that's pretty nice. I probably have to make a patch summary video, right? Just to keep everybody up to date so I don't have to explain every game. We'll see. Nice harass here. Exit's playing his little hard out. But Night Hunter already on the case here. Let's have a quick check on our Kalrax. We have Rebeluk taking up quickly. Nice and early. Pardon me. Let's have a quick check. So Aleph still going very, very hard on just skipping tier 1 altogether. And it's not been punished yet, so the tier 2 is going to roll out fairly soon for him. Exit. We haven't checked him. Does have the town hall. I think it's city hall on tier 2, so no upgrades there yet. Looks like he has for either forgotten or not placed the stone yet. So I see very low sector count. Hasn't grabbed his backward sectors. And this one might actually go down in the end. Night Hunter with... Almost pop cap in full on scoundrel scoundrelino. Does not have his war pit out, so it looks like he is still stuck on tier one. But that's a nice sector grab. And we have no upgrade here yet for Rebeluk, but he at least is on tier two. Action all over, over the map. Let's have a quick check on the heroes. God, there's so much to check in a two v two. I'm doing my best here. So there we go. Full left side build for the ranger. Uh, Exit, classic stuff, level 4. Full on arcane force, surprisingly. Oh, but look at the empowered scoundrels! 26 damage, 5 armor, 5 attack. Oh, is it not scaling with. Oh no, it doesn't seem to be scaling! <gasps> Unless that's not enough to, s to scale up, but it should be like at 6 by now, at least. But that might actually make it a little bit uncomfortable to play with. But then again, if it scales too much on the higher tier units, it would probably be too powerful. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. But level 3 versus level 4 here. So that's another thing with 2v2s. The levels are generally going to be a bit lower. Since the creep is going to be distributed more evenly between each boy. So he does manage to make all of these elves go to sleep here. Ooh, massive barrage. That's a lot of dead goblins. But does Aleph... We have two groves up. Unfortunately, one of them is in the sector that he just lost. Do we have any... We do have iron mines coming up. Oh, we, we haven't even grabbed this one here yet. That's interesting. And they have lost a sector indeed. Pretty rough stuff. Meanwhile, Exet versus Night Hunter down here. Still going on. So far, for the moment, we have more or less just two 1v1s going angegriffen. on. We just uh, we saw uh, Aleph earlier helping over with a teleport, but other than that, they're just gonna try to drown their enemies in goblins. This could be a bit ill fate. Oh, what? never mind. Didn't see the occultist in there. 
But Angstead is not doing too badly here. But it's hard to tell who's really coming out on top here since Dark Elf units are generally more expensive. Well, a little bit. But I said the economy can't keep up with the losses. Let's put it that way. And both of our... Oh, nice job. Gets a nice flank push. But the Occultus goes down yet again. That's some nice XP here for Exit. Level 4 for him now. Has lost this big sector here, which might be a problem in the future. But for now, a bit blow for blow. Watchtower is coming up now to protect the sector. He's probably going to waddle some of his scoundrels over. Meanwhile, Frontier Post coming up here. Oh, and there's the, there's the help. The Avengers, Avengers assembled inside his friend's territory here. So the orcs are back at it. Just look at the amount of goblins. <laughs> so many goblins. That's like 200 popcap worth of goblins. It's beautiful. Unfortunately, some of them are a little bit lobotomized and just staring while their comrades are dying. Blue and green. It's a beautiful color scheme. There it is. The rhyme is on point, boys. I love it. Uh, but we're losing territory here for the elves consistently and aggressively. Let's see what our groves are producing here. We are going full, almost full iron here for Aleph. So we'll have to see if that plays out for him. The enchanter is up, but no other upgrades. Exit. Oh, no. Exit is still on level tier 1. 11 minutes into the game. Ooh, lovely, lovely kiss of Noor here. What a big budget blowout. And a blow... Oh my god, that's so much value! That is disgusting! Pure damage trickling in here against the Blue Gobbles. He's tr nice job here placing down the totem. The resistance is not gonna help since bleed is pure damage. But it's just the sheer number. Even if you kill all of them, they're just gonna get... They're like the Hydra. You cut one head off, two take its place. And there we go, Hunter's coming in now. A bit slower than you're used to, but oof. We were actually good. Has, doesn't have his um, tier 3 armor that the Goblin Shaman has. So the... What's it called? The chain Lightning actually did some decent damage there. But very nice cooperative push here. A Dark Elf Tower, which you don't often see. Doing magic damage, which is interesting. We müssen unsere Außenposten vergrößern. Uh, also, like, uh, like in team games, these AoE team heroes are just very potent. Since they're basically a force multiplier. And uh, as a team, you will always have some kind of force to multiply in the first place. So another sector going down for Exit. Aleph's build just not coming online quick enough. And apparently some of his boys are disjointed. The town hall is still not up because we don't have the stone still. That is harsh, harsh stuff. We had 8 pop cap for Aleph 12 minutes into the game. Oh no, sorry, that's exit. My apologies. 20 pop cap. It's not much better. And it's only 4 Wanderers. Looks like we lost the other boys in transit. So the orcs are just steamrolling in their way in here. And... Oh, no. For a second I thought it was GG. We have tier 2 here for Night Hunter. We can see that on the tech choices here without going over to the... Boys, 128 pop cap, GG's being called. The orcs reign supreme! But that was super greedy by Aleph. So it's still no... Orcs still really strong. But I think it's also like a gamble Aleph and Exit couldn't really take. Like Aleph was too hard on the tier 2 and Exit was too hard on the tier 1. They needed to find like a middle ground and combine their forces. Because the early game was just carried by Exit, and then Exit got swamped by the, both of the orcs, and then Aleph's tech rush didn't pay off because he was just up against 400 pop cap with his couple token iron units. But GG, well played. It's a completely different game in 2v2, so props to all of these guys for participating in this lovely team league event. Do not take that as an indicator of their individual prowess. It's a completely different ballpark. You can't get level 5 as easily, like there's so many things to think of. You need to, the teleport game needs to be on point, you need to be in communications, which I assume all of them were.
but GG, well played. I'm curious to see how, how we see the progression of the uh, Team League tournament in the 2v2 department. If we see much improvement, uh, the further it goes. Because there's still a lot more to come, don't you worry about that bit. And I'll see you in the next game.